Hello and welcome. We are currently parked by this random geyser in central Utah that apparently erupts twice a day. Alright, so we just went to check out the geyser and the first thing I want to note is that the land surrounding the geyser is this really beautiful and very saturated golden yellow and orange ochre. Like it's super, super bright and that just makes the water from the geyser stand out even more. So the water coming out of the geyser is this really pretty cloudy jade green and it flows all the way down into the river that's right next to the geyser. And what's really interesting is the water, as it's flowing down, it created this waterfall and it has these really nice curves and it actually looks like it's straight out of Dr. Seuss, but it's just absolutely bizarre because you don't really see something so organic. Yeah, it's like super smoothed out because water has just been flowing over it for so long. Another thing that's interesting about the geyser is I think they created this contraption for it that allows the water to flow in a certain way. It's mm -hmm. a very unique looking... Uh, element. I don't yeah, know how to describe it. Yeah, it's kind of cylindrical and just pops out of the ground. Maybe it helps the water shoot higher into the air. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We haven't seen it go off yet yeah. because it's very rare that it does happen. But now we are going to make some dinner while we enjoy the scenery. And tonight we will be having a creamy tomato based pasta dish. Very vague, but I think it'll be really I'm good. So excited. <laughs> I know where you're coming from. Been there more than once before myself. I'd help you if I could. Guys, look at this really beautiful pasta I picked up. They kind of look like little flowers, so I was like, it's perfect for the springtime. Oh, 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 I know it's hard to see, but it'll all my friends. Chad wanted to try it so bad while I was cooking, but I said not till we are done. So. All right, let's do it. Chad's going to be a happy camper tonight. Yes. Oh my gosh. So tonight we are sleeping with our heads on this side rather than that side, and we feel very weird. Yeah, it's all topsy-turvy now because... <laughs> No one says that, Chad. <laughs> so we usually try to park the van with the back side a little bit higher so that we can have our heads uh, towards the back of the van rather than in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, but this time, the back side is lower, and I don't like sleeping with my head lower than my feet because I feel like the blood rushes to my head all night, and then I don't sleep well. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's just in my brain. So we each have a side as to where we sleep, and we are remaining on that same side. So I usually sleep on the right side. So usually if my head is at the back of the van, I'd be sleeping next to the little flip-out table shelf thing, and Chad would be against like this side of the van. But we are flipping that, so now Chad is on that right side yeah so any burglars can come scoop him up first I mean, burglars can come from any <laughs> anytime we're reversed and we're sleeping with our heads to the back of the van chad always climbs over me and crushes my entire <laughs> bone system getting to the door so i can pee out the side <laughs> the, okay the thing is i try to guess where you aren't <laughs> and i always am there I'm always everywhere. <laughs> I've never met someone that can take up so much space with such a small body. It's my Spread one moment out. to lay down, Chad. I never lay down otherwise. <laughs> All right, anyhow, we are going to go to sleep for the night, and then we'll see you in the morning. Good night. So we are currently making some breakfast and I want to showcase Chad's lovely mohawk that he naturally woke up with mm -hmm. and it's quite sensational. <laughs> oh my oh goodness. My gosh. Wow. Also, the geyser has been going off for about an hour now, so we've just been hearing the sound of spewing water, and it's been very relaxing. And apparently it does go off for a super long time, but maybe that's why it only goes off twice a day, because it lasts for quite a while.
All right, so we're now going to leave our spot by the geyser and we are going to head over east towards the city of Moab. So we just drove into Arches National Park and Claire and I have actually both been here before so we thought that we would just spend the afternoon kind of going back to some of our favorite arches. So we've decided to go to three of our favorite arches today and to kick it off we're going to go to Double Arch. Now driven all the way to the very end of the park and we're going to go see one of the skinnier little arches and this one will be landscape arch that's the one yep that's it very skinny i'm surprised it hasn't broken yet so apparently landscape arch is the length of a football field which is just a way to put it into perspective it is so unbelievably long and it's just crazy to think that this is naturally occurring like, no humans made this, it just happened. I'm excited for our future and all the days along the way. I'm ready for the change and now to do. We'll be out there to... <laughs> the look of dismay. <laughs> so we are now going to hike to our final arch in the park, Delicate Arch. Actually, I remember this very vividly when I came. I was probably around seven or eight years old and I was being super annoying that day because I was going through a phase where I just didn't want to smile in pictures and my mom was getting so frustrated because she loves taking pictures of us when we go traveling and I just like wouldn't smile. She's like, just smile, oh my gosh. Maybe I'll find a picture of me not smiling at Arches National Park and I'll insert it for you guys. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to go hike over to the arch and we'll see you there. Lay it on me, I'm listening. I got a good ear, come give it a bend. I can listen all day till you tell it to me. If I so we just made it back from our hike to Delicate Arch and we're actually going to cook dinner in the van, which will be super convenient. But I do want to tell you guys a few of my thoughts about Arches National Park as a whole. So this is actually my second time coming here, but the first time that I came, I never hiked to Delicate Arch. And so my expectation just now while hiking there was that it was a lot smaller than it actually was. I literally thought it was like a fifth of the size. So once I went around the corner and I saw how big it was, I was literally blown away. Like, it was really cool because you don't see it the entire time on the hike until you go around this one last corner. And then there are these snow-capped mountains in the background and you just see the arch and it's just phenomenal. Like, I was really blown away. There were a lot of people there, but it didn't really take away from the experience at all just because it's so huge and it's so one of a kind. Like, I still can't get over the fact that nature can literally create something like that. Like it just looks like it was man-made. Anyways, it was just a really cool experience. Now Claire is busy making dinner. I can't stop thinking about how frustrated my mom probably was when we got there and I wouldn't smile for the picture. <laughs> Especially since it's like a really strenuous hike. So like me being me, I was probably complaining as a skinny little kid trying to make it up the hill. She's probably like, come on. And then when we finally make it there, then I don't smile for her picture. <laughs> So nothing fancy, just cooking in the parking lot. If I heard it before, then let me hear it again. While you let it out, I can take it in. Dinner is ready. <laughs> this is all we got left in the cooler was chicken. And then we have rice and we also have seaweed. So a very, very simple dinner tonight. $2.87, that's the cheapest we've seen for a long time. We have made it to the gas station with three miles left. So we just crossed state borders and this state has significantly cheaper gas than Utah and that is why we wait until the very, very end to refill on gas. And I think it's gonna be well worth it because we haven't seen like 
two dollar something gas in a really long time so i'm very happy that we're saving that little bit of money which is actually going to make a pretty big difference in our budget so i do believe we will be parking in the loves parking lot tonight but since we are at loves we might as well go and grab a shower because we are both yes, super greasy good. super oily super sweaty <laughs> we haven't done laundry since monterey california which was a very long time ago yeah but we will be doing laundry soon mm -hmm. so we're just gonna go shower and wear our cleanest set of clothes yay well it has been a very long day but that shower was incredible i know we're both gonna sleep really well tonight don't mind my feathery head it is so straight <laughs> don't know what i'm saying and i think we're actually gonna end it here in the loves parking lot but we will see you guys tomorrow no. <laughs> That's weird. Next time. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will catch you guys next time. I'm scared.